Hello, uh, now we are going to learn about how to upload a files or any data in a storage bucket and how to delete the storage bucket we are going to see. In earlier video we have seen how to create a storage bucket. Okay, so before going to the topic if you are visiting my channel for the first time please do subscribe so that you will get a more updates from my channel. Okay, now we will see. Uh, I think uh, till this uh, step we have seen uh, uh, in an earlier video right now we are going to upload any we can upload see objects or configuration we have different kinds of uh, data is there so if you wanted to store objects uh, means we can have different types of objects like files you can store or folders you can store or if you want you can create your own folder here itself and then you can upload the files into it or else if you wanted to transfer the data into this bucket or from this bucket or everything is available okay so whatever it may be you can do all kind of operations now we are going to uh, see simple how to store a files just click on upload files button and then uh, if you just see here um, I'm going to see uh, just upload the file okay uh, I'm going to click on this GCP notes okay see here uploading my first project operations if you see GCP notes dot text file is uploaded see here what is the size it is showing and what type of text it is and when you have created and storage class is what type of storage class whether it may be standard archival or uh, near line cold line it will show you everything clearly and uh, see it is not a public when we created a storage bucket we clicked on not public okay so that is the reason it is showing not public okay now the version history if you want it wanted to change the file uh, like uh, if you do any modifications then it will show whether it may be uh, zero version or one version or next version okay and the encryption also it is showing see here everything retention expired any if we can set expiry date as well okay any holes are there in that particular data so everything if you wanted to download it you can download it okay uh, everything is available here download move copy rename okay edit access everything is available for your data this is um all kind of flexibilities are available okay so this is uh, a simple example how to store a data into a bucket okay so if you want you can store a folder as well or uh, I already told you I don't want to repeat it again so just I'm going to show you the deletion process of a bucket so before going to the deletion of a bucket just click on the deleting uh, the data first of all just click on the delete button see this is permanent it will always show you the notification and it will warn you like uh, it will get deleted permanently from the cloud storage okay so it, it, deletion is performed in the background and may take some time depending on the object size if it is a large size big size then it will take a lot of I mean a uh, few seconds of time otherwise in fraction of seconds it will get deleted it is a less data we have so just only 224 kb so that it is deleted immediately now we are going to uh, delete a bucket so that how we go just click on here <coughs> see select this bucket and then you have option enable call delete just click on the delete it will show you clearly a warning that it will get deleted permanently and including it objects so earlier I have shown uh, how to delete that GCP notes as well right so though if you are not deleted directly it whenever you are going to delete your bucket directly it will get deleted here ok so before deleting you need to read it carefully all the rules then only you can delete it see here I am going to type delete now delete this click on the delete button okay so we don't have any uh, data in this bucket so that it will get delete in a seconds so always a best practice if you are uh, not using any kind of bucket or whatever it may be you just delete it okay if it is usable and reusable uh, if you wanted to access it in the future then keep it remains okay otherwise do, uh, delete it okay so 
I hope you understood well about this video. If you wanted to see the how to create a storage bucket, I'll paste that link in the description box as well. You can go through that first that link and then you uh, come to this video. So I hope you understood well. Uh, if you like video, please do like and say subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much.